everyone, Jackie here at Long and Lean Pilates in Buffalo. I'm going to be taking you guys through a 35 minute workout on the reformer. So if you have one at home and you just want a quick reformer flow, this will be it. I would call this an intermediate level class. We're going to move a little bit faster paced, um, get some of those more challenging exercises in there. So I've got myself to start on three reds and a green spring. As always, take the spring, the setting that you need on your machine for your body. We're gonna start with footwork. So I've got three reds in a green. My headrest is halfway up so that my neck feels propped appropriately. I'm gonna start on my back, lying down arms by the sides, just letting your spine and your pelvis settle onto the carriage. My feet are parallel, hips with distance apart. Toes and knees facing straight up. On my inhale, I lengthen to prepare, and then I exhale to stretch the knees straight. And inhale to bend, drawing the carriage back in. Exhaling to press up and inhaling to bend. So just moving through these presses here. Weight is right in the center of my heel. My knees are tracking over my toes, staying nice and parallel with those thighs. Tailbone stays connected to the carriage. So as I bend the carriage, bend the knees, draw the carriage back in, my tailbone isn't tucking up off of the machine. And as I press out, I'm not hyperextending my spine. Ribs are softened in and down. For four. I'm gonna take one more press out all the way. I'll come in halfway and start to pulse. Just little one to two inch pulses here, making sure again, knees are tracking right over those second and third toes. Tail was connected to the mat. For five, four, three, two, one, I'm gonna press out, extend my legs all the way long, tiptoe down to my toes, so I'm now on the balls of my feet. And I'm gonna take some calf raises here. So I'm gonna lift those heels up all the way and lower them down. Lift the heels and lower the heels. So starting with a warm up those calves and ankles, making sure as you lift the heels up, we're not rolling onto those pinky edges of the feet. So ankles are staying neutral and lengthened for four, Three. One more, and then I'll take it into a tread in the prance, bending one knee at a time, dropping the opposite heel. I'll set up a bar for six. Three, two, one. I'm gonna stay on the balls of my feet and find a Pilates V. So my heels will touch together under the bar. My toes and my thighs are gonna externally rotate. I'm going to bend in, knees track out over the toes, and then press back up. Inhale to bend in, knees track out. And I'm going to exhale to press, making sure as I move through this, my knees are just turning out slightly. So I'm not letting my legs just kind of fall open to the side here. Got that more narrow diamond shape with the legs. Tracking the knees out over the toes, squeezing the inner thighs, the backs of the legs together as I straighten. And then rotating as I bend. For three, two, I come in halfway on my last one and start to take those little pulses. I'm going to lift my heels up all the way. So I'm pulsing. Heels might come so high that they separate. Knees are still tracking out over those toes. Carriage never slams into that stopper. For five, four, three. I'll press up, stretch the knees straight, flip the thighs back to parallel. Come up onto my heels and walk the feet out wide to the edge of the foot bar, all the way as wide as you can. And then I'm going to internally rotate. So my thigh bones spiral towards each other. My toes turn in, my knees touch together as I bend in. And then I press out and separate. Squeeze the thighs together and press up. Squeeze together and press. Thinking of bringing the tops of the thighs together as soon as possible. Making sure again, checking in with your pelvis that it's nice and neutral. Four, three, imagine that zipper between the knees. I'm going to come in halfway in this last one until my thighs can squeeze together and I'm going to pulse here. As I pulse, pressing the knees into each other, getting the tops of those legs and those inner thighs warmed up. For eight, seven, six, breathing here. Three, Two, one, I'll press out, extend the legs one more time and then bring my feet back to center. 
bending the knees, I'm gonna grab onto my shoulder pegs, cross my right thigh all the way over my left thigh. I'm gonna let my knees drop to the right, reach and look over my left shoulder, letting that left hip stretch out, getting a little supine twist here. And then I'll exhale, bring it back to center, cross my left thigh over my right thigh, let the knees fall to the left, look over that right shoulder. And then I'm gonna bring it back to center. I'm gonna rock up to seated. I'm gonna switch my springs to two red springs. Again, if you have different reformers at home, we're gonna go into a mid-back series and some core work here. So two reds is what I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna bring my foot bar all the way down so it's flat off completely. And then I'm gonna come back to laying on my back. I'm gonna give my shoulders a little bit of room between the shoulder rests, and then I'm gonna reach back and I'm going to grab onto my shorter straps. If you have one strap, just grab that one that you have. If you have the long or the short, feel free to choose your option that feels best. I'm gonna focus on dropping my ribs into the carriage. Arms extend, and then I'll lift one leg up at a time to tabletop until they're 90 degrees over the hips. I'm gonna press my arms forward until there's no more slack in my ropes. And I'm going to start with heel taps here, right away into doubles. I'm going to inhale, lower the legs down, and then exhale, lift the legs back up. I'm going to inhale to lower, and exhale to lift, making sure as you lower and lift those legs that that pelvis is staying neutral. Arms are staying extended, ropes are staying tight, and your rib cage is staying pressed in towards your back. So ribs are knit together in the front of the body, making sure your chest is not puffing up towards the sky. Protecting that low back by really deeply engaging and contracting the core for four and three. Two. I'll take one more here. I'm gonna lower my legs, let my arms open to a T, let my knees fall apart before I switch to exercise B for this set here. I'm gonna bring those arms back up over my chest, bring my knees back to parallel. This time I'm gonna bring my legs to tabletop, they will remain in tabletop. On my exhale, I'm gonna press my arms down to my sides, reach my fingers towards the foot bar, and then inhale to look, lift. Exhale to press down, inhaling to reach up, making sure again nothing about my rib cage has changed. They're softened down into the floor. My arms are pressing even tempo at the same pace. One arm isn't racing the other. Wrapping the backs of your arms into your spine. Keeping the shoulders pressed away from the ears. Next, I'm gonna hold it at the bottom. I'm gonna bend my elbows to 90. So my knees and my arms are at 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna take a nice high chest lift. So I'm gonna curl my chest up towards my knees. As I exhale, I'm gonna straighten my arms and legs forward and then bend back in. Exhale, stretch the arms and the legs. Inhale, bend back in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, try to keep your shoulders lifted if you can. Modification would be to put your head, neck, and shoulders down and just bend and extend the legs. Otherwise, those abs are braced. That chest is lifted. We're gonna go for four. Three. Keep breathing. Two more here. Squeeze those triceps. Last one. And then bend the knees and the arms. Rest the feet down. Put those straps back onto your shoulder pegs. And then we're going to come up to standing from here, guys. We'll jump into a thigh stretch. So I'm going to bring my foot bar up to the top notch. And I'm going to switch to just a single red spring. I'm gonna start on the right side. So my right foot is gonna stay on the floor. My left foot is gonna come back against my shoulder rest. I'm gonna gently press that knee onto the ground and then square my pelvis off to the foot bar and sink into this thigh stretch here. Lengthening up my left hip, my left thigh. I'm gonna take a twist, reaching the right arm forward and opening around to try to see the wall behind me. Place that right hand down, reach the left arm up, and then I'm going to side stretch over to my right.
from there that left hand's gonna come down. I'm gonna take a split stretch here. If that split stretch does not feel good, feel free to stay in that lunge. Otherwise, you're gonna straighten out that front leg, get that extension. And then I'm gonna bend the knee. I'm gonna come back up to where I started, but this time I'm gonna straighten the back leg and lift the knee off the carriage. And then I'm gonna bend back down into my right leg. From here, my left knee will never bend. I'm gonna exhale as I take off the floor. I'm gonna bring my right leg up and back into a plank. And then I'm gonna land back in my lunge. I exhale, float the right leg up and lower down. My carriage comes in as I lift my hips up and my carriage comes out as I bend into that lunge. My back leg is straight the whole time. My right knee bends in the lunge and then it extends as I lift it. Making sure the first thing that happens as you take off the floor is that those abs scoop in so there's no arching in the low back. For three. Two, bring that chest right over the foot bar. Last one here, let's hold. Three, two, and one. Drop that knee back down. Hold the carriage in, let's take it around to the other side. Starting with that thigh stretch first. I'm going to take that left foot to the floor, right foot back, rest the knee on the carriage, squaring the hips off to the bottom, I'm going to sink down into that stretch here, shoulders roll down and back, back of the leg is lengthened, I'll take my left arm forward, and I'm going to rotate around, try to see the wall behind me, shoulders down and back. Sit my hips back onto my heels, 
ropes are on tops of my shoulders, hinging forward, and I'm just going to hover my hips up, and I'm going to exhale, extend the arms up on the diagonal, and then bend the thumbs back to the forehead. Keeping those elbows right over the tops of the shoulders, hitting those triceps, pulling those ribs in, so making sure we're not splaying and arching to the back. Toes past my knees, so I'm not letting my knees. Drop. 
drop forward, my tail comes back and out, and then up for three, two. I'm going to take one more and hold it at the bottom of this one. My weight will stay all the way on my platform, and I'm just going to push the carriage out away from me, and then bend it back in. Thinking of speed skating, press it out, and bend it in. My right leg stays bent the whole time. All of my weight stays on my right foot. So as you can see, my pelvis is not going with the carriage. So my hips are staying still. Just my left leg is pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. Let's go for five. Four. Three.
hips up until they're up above my rib cage. My carriage did not push out all the way in. And then it's rounding back down one vertebra at a time. So again, guys, your goal is to keep that carriage pulled in the whole time. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck the tail, rounding the spine, using your hamstrings to keep your carriage pulled in. Bring your heels towards your seat, your seat towards your heels. And then round it back down. Let's go for three more here. Keep that carriage pulled in. Make sure you're not cheating and holding onto that track. Keep those hands on the mat. Feel that lift, that squeeze at the top. For two. One more, I'm gonna hold this next bridge at the top. Now I'm gonna keep my pelvis lifted, push the carriage out all the way, and then use my hamstrings to pull in without dropping my pelvis. Press out all the way. Use your hamstrings to pull the carriage back in. All the way up. All the way in, keep those ribs closed, those abs engaged. Let's go for three more. Try to keep those hips up, pull that carriage in every single time. For two. One more, I'm gonna pull that carriage all the way in. And then round down through the spine and release. I'm gonna stay on my same two red springs, guys. And I'm gonna grab my straps. If you wanna switch to those two reds, if you were on something different, go ahead and switch. Now we're gonna go feet in straps. I'll press off of the foot bar. Take one foot into each strap. I'm gonna use my longer straps. If you have different lengths, go ahead and feel free to choose. I'm gonna start with my thighs turned in. So my toes touch together, my thighs internally spiral. And I'm gonna to start to lower and lift my legs here. Keeping those toes touching towards each other in center. Ribs are soft, pelvis is neutral. So as my legs come up, my butt is not lifting off of the mat. My tailbone is staying connected down. I'm gonna take one more here. At the top, I'll reverse my rotation so my thighs are externally rotated. My heels are together. And I'm gonna lower and lift here. Keeping those thighs turned out. Working into those rotators as you press down. Watch that that low back doesn't start to hyperextend. Just that natural breath of air underneath your lumbar spine. Three and two. Next, I'm going to hold at the bottom and I'm going to start to Peter Pan. So my left knee will bend, my right leg will extend straight out to my right. Exhale, use my inner thighs to come back to center. And then I'm going to switch. My right knee bends, my left leg extends out to the side. And then I exhale back to center. Alternating each time. Making sure the ropes are always on the inside of the thigh, so my knees are always outside of those ropes. My thighs are staying externally rotated. My heels come together in the middle before I switch. For three. And two. I'll take one more, open to the left. And then I'm going to take it into circles, keeping the thighs turned out. I'm going to circle up, out, around, and down together. Up, out, around, and down. I'm going to take three more in this direction. Nice full range of motion. For two. I'm going to take one more. Now this time I'm going to bring those legs back up to the top. I'm going to turn my thighs internally one more time. Just like we started to turn those thighs towards each other. I'm going to take my circle down, out, around, and in. So this time my circle is a lot smaller. Your thighs should have less range of motion when they're turned in. Let's go for three more. Pay attention to that pelvis. Make sure it stayed neutral level. Those thighs are turned in for two. One more here. And release. I'm going to take off just my left strap. I'm going to take a quick figure four, crossing my left ankle over my right thigh. I'm going to play 
place that left heel on the bar. Send my right leg straight to the sky and flex my toes for a hamstring stretch. And then I'm going to switch, taking that right strap off. I'm going to place that left strap back on. And again, I'll take that quick stretch. Figure four, crossing right ankle over left thigh, bending the knees, crossing the right leg out. And then I'm going to take that right foot down, left leg straight, flexing the toes to get that hamstring a stretch. Pelvis is staying nice and level here. Breathing into the back of that leg. And then I'm going to release, taking that foot out of the strap. I'm going to come up to standing, guys. We're going to switch it to a yellow spring. So just getting a little bit more of those legs. Hopefully those inner thighs are feeling a little bit warmed up from those feet and straps. I'm just coming down to a yellow spring. So my lightest spring, and then my foot bar is coming down. I'm going to go back into some side splits, but this time working those inner thighs. So we got hips and tops of the thighs before. Now I'm on my lightest setting. My foot bar is flat. My right foot is going to step up onto that platform very carefully, stepping that left foot up. It's super light, so just be mindful of that. My feet are parallel. I'm really zipping up through my low belly so that my low back stays long, my back is protected, my spine is neutral. On my inhale, I'm going to open my arms to a T as I press the carriage open. Hold for a second at your furthest point, and then exhale, squeeze through the inner thighs to come back in. Again, you should be on your lightest spring setting here. Inhaling as you press, arms to a T, shoulders down. Exhale, bringing those inner thighs back together. Pull that carriage all the way in every time. Really think of zipping up through the inseam of your leggings. Keeping belly zipped up. Low back lengthened. Tailbone drop towards your heels. Making sure the further out you go, those ribs are not starting to splay open. Feet are neutral. Ankles are neutral. Thighs are parallel. Let's go for four more. Press out a little bit further each time if you can. Squeeze back together with those inner thighs. For three. Exhale. And two. I'm going to take one more here. I'm going to go out to my furthest point and just hold it there for a moment. Until those inner thighs Start to shake. Make sure you're pressing into your big toes. You didn't roll out on those ankles. Now I'm going to come in just an inch and hold. Another inch and hold. And then from here, I'm going to pulse out and in. Out and in. Arms are staying up. I've got equal weight on both of my feet, guys. So I get this a lot. Why don't we turn around and switch sides? You should be working evenly from both of those legs. We are not going to rotate to the other direction. Both of those inner thighs should be working here. So you've got equal weight on both feet. Both of those inner thighs are helping you pull that carriage in and out. Little inner thigh burner here, pulsing for eight. Seven, keep that tailbone lengthened under. For five. Four. Three, you're almost there, don't give up. Two, one more, I'm gonna press back out to my furthest point, and then as slow as I can, I'm gonna pull the carriage in for eight. Seven, as slow as you can, six, five, four, slow it down, three, two, and one. Go ahead and carefully step down off of that reformer. I'm going to stay on a yellow spring here, guys. It's going to be a challenging exercise, but it is one of our last exercises in this short flow we've got going on here. I'm going to carefully kneel on the carriage. You can take your hands to the foot bar or to the platform, whatever feels best for you. I'm going to drop my hands down to the platform. I'm going to walk my knees carefully forward to the edge, tuck my toes under, and then I'm going to scoop those abs in nice and tight and lift my knees up until I'm in a plank. From here, I'm going to shift my weight into my hands, pull the carriage in as I pike my hips up over my heels, and then press the carriage back out. Exhale, scoop the abs in, lift the hips up, and lower down. Try to go nice and slow here, guys. So you're really getting that core work in. The faster you go, the more those hip flexors tend to take over. We want to really be working through those abdominals. You should have more weight.
weight in your hands, less in your feet. Your ears come towards your biceps as you pike up. And then back out into that neutral spine for three. And two. One more. Last one there. Drop those knees carefully back down. Sit those hips back into a wide knee child's pose. I'm going to reach my arms across the top of the foot bar. Rolling it up to standing from here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this quick intermediate reformer flow. Let us know what you think on your requests on this YouTube channel. Let us know. Have a great day, guys.